everybody. Here we go on a little exploration today. So let's let's get rolling here. As we leave the campsite, we're going to go up the road here a little bit to catch Old Yuma Road here and head south on that. Supposed to be some interesting stuff off it for us to see. Got a full battery on the e-bike charged with solar, ready to rock and roll here, so. Should give us about at least 15 miles that we can do just on the throttle, so if we pedal a little bit, we'll get a little further. And this is Old Yuma Road. <laughs> I'm really surprised over here in uh, the post at Tyson Wash, how well the roads are maintained. Uh, pretty smooth, no washboards. Some of the exploring we're doing today will be on some uh, OHV trails too, so let's see how that goes. <laughs> I appreciate all the input and uh, comments people have been giving me. Uh, you're the ones watching my videos, so what you have to say is important to me, so I really appreciate it. Coming up here, I'm, I'm not really sure, maybe uh, some of you can comment and fill me in on this, where this uh, sign is on the road, is this where we leave the LTVA and we're in regular BLM land? That's what I'm assuming is happening here. Not really sure here. Okay, I think our road is coming up up here. There are people paint rocks put cones up, uh, do signs and things to mark the entrance to their, uh, their different uh, camps out here. Oh, that's rough. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here's our off-highway vehicle trail here. Hang on, Greg. <laughs> yeah, might be a good idea to slow down, I think. This is neat back in here. Be a great place to go hiking too.
this. Be down in the wash here. Cave there. And you see the cave. Oh, there's the petroglyphs. All right, let me let me see if I can get some better shots of them. We'll get a little closer here. You see the petroglyphs on this rock, I hope. They're kind of faint. Then we got a cave here. I don't think I'll show you the inside of the cave. <laughs> yeah, not my thing. Looks like there's some petroglyphs on the upper. Oh yeah, up there. Look up there. Interesting, way cool. Right in the middle of this wash here. All right, let's see what we can find next. And jump on the bike and get rolling. The size of this wash are just incredible. And some of this is going to have to be hiking today because I'm not making it through here with an e bike. <laughs> so. We'll uh, document some of that on the other camera. So, I'll be right back. Wash is just massive. Pretty cool. see up on this rock here in the center there's some more petroglyphs here I think they're petroglyphs if, if I'm saying it wrong someone please correct me put it in the comments and of course some modern petroglyphs right next to it oh look at these ones over here amazing Very cool.
someone's got a sense of humor. All right. Oh, and here's some, another interesting find. Uh, I got some help for some people finding it. Kind of hidden here a little bit, but if you see these depressions in the rock, these bowls, it's where the ancient settlers used to grind, I from what I was told, uh, mesquite seeds. And you can see them in the rock from all the grinding. They, they actually ground bowls right into the rock. Just amazing. So cool. All the work with primitive tools. But uh, these are right off Tyson Wash. So are the petroglyphs in the cave. So if you get out here, make sure you stop by and check them out. I'm going to head back to camp. I appreciate everybody that subscribes, comments. My current subscribers have been with me since the beginning. It means a lot to me. Thank you so much. And everybody, I hope you enjoy your day. Bye-bye.